Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, Gwenham vs. Carnage, issue number one of three, King and Black tie-in, and this is a comic book that should not have been made. My personal opinion, I'm going to explain all of that good stuff after I uh, talk about who made this comic book. So this is part one of three, Sonam McGuire, the former writer for uh, Spider-Gwen and Ghost Spider, and the three different titles that they had. Uh, Flaviano on art, Rico Renzi doing the colors, VCs Ariana Maher doing the letters, Ken Lashley and Juan Fernandez doing the cover, and Hugh Lee and Ren, Ryan Brown does the uh, variant cover. So, um, Gwen, in the very beginning of this, let's just get to the story, she tries to save a person and she's not able to save the person. She's like, I'm Spider Gwen. Great, so this person will remember who to haunt. Uh, when he becomes a, a spirit on the other side, I guess, because you just allowed this person to die. Maybe they're not dead. I know we can all sit there and say, well, technically they wouldn't be dead. They'd be... We don't know. We honestly do not know. The poisons killed people. Why wouldn't these things kill people? You know what I'm saying? Um, what's his name? Null was talking about, no, these people are going to die. I'm going to kill all of them. So I don't know why they'd be in pure stasis. The heroes, sure, but everybody else, I I, whatever. I don't know. As far as Gwen is concerned, and as far as the reader is concerned, we can safely assume that these people are dead until further notice. So, hey. And she's just, oh no, when she goes, runs back to her apartment uh, with her new roommates, and she's like, you know, oh no. And no remorse, no regret, nothing to show that she's actually freaked out that such and such happened. Um, they're talking about doing supply runs. Uh, uh, yeah, that makes sense. But then something happens later on where a dragon sees them and breaks into the apartment and her three roommates, there's going to be a bit of spoilers here. You've got this amount of time to click off the video if you didn't actually see the video and you don't want spoilers for it. You plan on reading it anyway. You had plenty of time. Goodbye. Um, the three roommates are the exact same thing happens. They get gooed. Uh, she's trying to get away. It looks like she runs into the hallway. I can't be sure what she's doing. Um... Excuse me, and and somehow the, it didn't. Work. Her whole plan didn't work, and they wind up getting gooed in the first place, and they, I guess, die. Whatever. The same thing that happened to the first guy. She walks back completely remorseless again. Actually, it's even worse because she's like, "Oh man, I I thought I saved you guys. Oh well, I um, uh, you know, it's a shame. You guys were, you know, pretty good roommates. You just see these people." Whatever you think happened to these people, and you just, oh, you were pretty good roommates? That's it? Like, this woman has no emotion, no remorse, no sense of failure, no sense of defeat? Just, oh no, too bad. Oh, I wonder how I'm going to pay the rent now. Are you, ki are you kidding me right now? This is the hero that I'm supposed to be rooting for in this comic book? There's nothing redeeming about this character. Sanon used to write for... Gwenum before, for um, Spider-Gwen, for Ghost Spider, all the different names of that comic book, you know what I'm saying? Because it was rehashed, it was three different volumes with her doing them all, and let's face it, the book just didn't work. Look, I liked the book, it was, it was very appealing at first, but then, you know, it's like, the same exact thing keeps on happening. Gwen's gonna run around, there's gonna be a lot of, you know, really fun, but for the most part, senseless action. There's not going to be any real character development. Mary Jane is still going to blame her for the world and whatever, who cares? And there's never going to be any reason why she's going to stick around like she's got freaking Stockholm Syndrome with Mary Jane. And then she's going to go and have a burger. Which, like, it's the exact same comic book. Wash, rinse, repeat. Wash, rinse, repeat. I, I didn't need to keep on reading the same comic book. I've read a couple of comic books. So it's... Like people say about uh, a Ric Flair match. You've seen Ric Flair fight once. You've seen him fight, you know, every single match he's ever been in. Because it's, oh, Ric Flair only has one match. You know what I'm saying? Um, I like Ric Flair for his, his promos more than anything else. But whatever. Like, that's a, that's a very profound comment that a lot of people have said about Rick. Now, in this particular case, I feel it's the exact same thing. Now, is it the same thing with Sonoma McGuire? Yeah, let me give you an example of a runner, because I used to run in high school. Um, now I suck at running, go figure. So let's say you got a pair of lucky shoes, and you keep on wearing these shoes, but they're really old. They're holy, and they got holes in them. I don't mean that they were blessed by the 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 pre, you know, the, the father, you know, by the cardinal. Um, 
you know, they're just, they're floppy. The, 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 the dogs are talking, you know, because the, 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 the front lobe is just, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're really ratty shoes, but you keep on running in them because they're your so-called lucky shoes. Now, you haven't won a race in forever, but hey, you were, you ran and won a couple of races with them before. So you keep on running their shoes. Finally, with all the blisters and everything, you get pulled off for a medical emergency. It's like, dude, you need to stop. You're disqualified from the race. Vis-a-vis, -vis, your book has been canceled. You know, we're going to re rehash it to a number one. We're going to rehash it again to another number one. We're going to keep on giving you chances. We're going to keep trying to help you to succeed. Unfortunately, you don't have what it takes. This is, I know this is coming off as demeaning and I apologize, but I'm going to really lay it in in a moment and tell you why I've come to this conclusion. Then she gets another chance. They say, listen. We're going to give you an honorary three issues to, to do this. We're going to give you an honorary run where you can go back on the field and start running again. So here you go. And what does she do? Instead of going out and buying new sneakers or something, she puts on the same old ratty, crappy shoes and decides, my lucky shoes, they're going to help me win this race, even though they haven't helped me win anything in a long time. She does the exact same thing. Now, why do I say this? I read the back of the book where Sanan starts talking about how when the book was canceled, the books, all the times that she had the, you know more chances with the books, the book was canceled, but there was this one story she wanted to do with, I already said this was spoilers, where Mary Jane winds up becoming uh, a version of Carnage, that, you know, Earth-65's version of Carnage. Okay. Um, sure. I figured that's a very interesting thing to cover also, but everything that she was doing was leading towards this in the first place, right? So the book was canceled before she had the chance to actually um, move with that idea. Uh, now she gets a chance to come back, and instead of saying, okay, I want my book to come back, I want to keep on writing, I want to be considered valuable, I want to show that I can actually do something amazing. So what does she do? She puts on the same old stupid ratty sneakers and keeps on doing the exact same thing she was doing before. Except this isn't the race that she'd been running before. Her book was canceled. It's done. It's done. Most of the people getting this book are not people who have read her Ghost Spider or any of the other titles that she's had which involve the Ghost Spider character. But she goes and she does a story anyway. Even though it doesn't have the same plot thread that the original one had, now this is a different way of doing this. She's just got to rush the storyline to have this, and, and this is what we get. We get a storyline that was canceled, rushed into as another, yet another chance. I, as rude as this is going to sound, I look forward to the day when Spider-Gwen can come back, go Spider, whatever but with somebody else uh, guiding the reins because I do not I do not think that Sonam McGuire is genuinely serious about bringing us good content. I believe that she's serious about trying to prove a point that what she was doing all along would work and no, that's not the case. Sorry, I'm going Snyder Cut on this one. The, you've got a lot of fans who are hardcore fans and they will always stick by you no matter what but they're not superhero fans. They're just not. They're Snyder fans. Likewise, she's got a really good fan base who really liked what she was doing. Unfortunately, clearly sales show that they weren't enough. It's, it's just the way that it is. I'm really looking forward to a day that somebody else can take over this character and move on and hopefully start telling some good different stories with Spider-Gwen. Now, did the art perchance save things? No. Flaviano, um, he actually does a style, if that, uh, you can call it a style, you can, where a whole bunch of things happen and there's a lot of action and movement and things like that, but you really can't tell what's happening a lot of the times. And unfortunately, this kind of style where everything just looks like it's moving so fast, you know, it's sloppy and, you know, no, 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 it's just moving fast. I've seen this before uh, and I've seen far better artists comment on this style before, like exactly this style and others similar to it. Artists who are not very good at their craft will often do little tricks 
to try and hide the fact that they're not great artists and say, no, no, this was the particular style that I was trying to do here. That's what I'm seeing with this. I've seen that, like, literally, I've seen this exact style used before. And it's just a way for artists to cover the fact that they're not good at what they're doing. Um, I've seen Flaviano do good stuff before. And maybe he's just not particularly good at doing this. Maybe he... Maybe this is one of those things where he should have said, ah, you know, he, she, I don't know who Flaviano is. It's like, it's one name. It's one freaking name. Madonna, Prince, stop it. Um, but yeah, this, nothing worked in this comic book. For the most part, nothing really worked. I can't even tell if the colors were any good because all I really got was a bunch of blotches and fill-ins. It's like, oh, if nobody's going to care about the pencils and inks, why should I care about the colors? So they just kind of, here you go. And Almost everything was really just one color splotched in, and this didn't work. For me at all, this didn't work. Look, the Mary Jane idea is a good idea. It is, but it was based off a storyline that was canceled multiple times, and then finally canceled and not rebooted with another name or something, you know? And that's the thing that's so heartbreaking about this. When you get a chance, when you get another chance, you don't just start doing the same thing that you were doing before. Otherwise, you're just a hamster, gnawing, you know, running on your wheel and not actually going anywhere, or a hamster who's just gnawing on the side of the cage, and you're never going to get out because it's reinforced with a little strip of metal. Like, hamster. Hamster comics. Hamster writing. I apologize if this came off as a personal attack, but there was so much wrong with this comic book that I'm actually even disheartened that the editor allowed this to go forward. This is, to me, my observation, this is an absolute throwaway series, this Gwenum versus Carnage. It's not Carnage. It's MJ from Earth-65, who, a version of Null in here, who, I swear to God, Bendis speaks. Yeah, the dreaded Bendis speak. Please, go and read what Null says in here and how he says it, tell me if that's not Ben to speak. Just blah, 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 blah. But uh, here's a thing that uh, should be mine, but it's not really mine, but I want it to be mine because everything should be mine. Oh my God, that is Ben to speak 101. Nothing worked in this comic book for me. And to see in the letters page why is so heartbreaking. Stop making the comic book. Stop making anything about you. That's my advice moving forward. This comic book is not about you. You write the thing that you like, but you also pay attention to your fan base. This, I, I, like I said, I look forward to this character coming back because I really like this character. But I look forward to somebody else taking the reins. Somebody who's actually going to try and make the character appealing to a larger base of fans so the comic book doesn't get canceled. And someone who particularly learns from their mistakes, which would be ideal, especially in this situation. Anyway, I hope I didn't piss off too many people, because I know there are a lot of diehard fans who are like, anything with Gwen is a good thing. Stop saying bad things about Gwen. I'm not that kind of a fan. I'm the kind of fan who says, I like this character. I want to see the character done well, and I'm more critical with the characters who I like. Uh, and this didn't pass a single test that I had for my reviews. Anyway, guys, I'm out. Talk to you later. Like the video, watch an ad. Professor Bill Comic Book University. Class dismissed.